guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be swatching the new OPI Fall 2021 collection, which is inspired by downtown LA. I have three mainstream Fall 2021 collections for you this week. So definitely stop back on by later for more. We have Zoya and Morgan Taylor coming up. So I put all the important information down in the description bar below as far as these polishes, where I purchased them and all that good stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and get right into the review so you don't have to wait to see these swatches. If you want to see dupes and comparisons, that will be at the end of the review. So don't you worry, we're gonna get right through these swatches quickly and you can be on your way. And if you'd like to stick around for those comparisons and know if there's already some things in your collection from OPI that look really similar to the polishes in this collection well I have that for you too so let's get started all right so as usual we're going to go in alphabetical order we're going to start with seventh and flower this is a cream finish it's a beautiful kind of berry magenta shade it is kind of purpley leaning for a berry and it has a beautiful one coat formula a pretty typical red or pink finish from opi will have this gorgeous one coat uh formula here especially for a cream shade this is to be expected from opi but nonetheless beautiful so really like this shade if you don't have something super simil similar this is just a gorgeous berry kind of color there you see two coats on my natural nails because i'm going to do two coats of everything today all right, next up we have Abstract After Dark, and this is supposed to be like a new take on their original like deep, deep, dark, purpley, vampy Linkin Park After Dark, but this um, has, as you can see, this twinkling, a little bit larger particle size shimmer that's going between blue and purple. This has a really deep like plummy blackberry blackened base it's really really yummy this actually applies really nicely it looks beautiful in two coats i was super happy with the application of everything in this collection we are going to look exactly how this compares to other similar things within opi's line coming up at the end of the video but here's how it looks on my nails in two coats and then i have um, a secondary shot here so you can see how that purple pulls through it's really really beautiful and then a macro shot for you as well all right, next up, we are moving on to Angel's Flight to Starry Nights. Now, this is a holographic polish. It also has this really beautiful, small, little blue, twinkly sparkle in it as well. I was really happy with this shade. Sometimes when mainstream brands do holographic polishes, they just don't have the payoff that you're really looking for. But I thought this one was great. The little extra sparkle that they added in there... I think actually ended up competing a little bit with the holographic nature of the polish, maybe diluting that holographic finish just a little bit for you. But the sun finally came out today. We've had rain for a few days, so I was able to get a holographic shot for you outdoors right here. And then I do also have a macro shot for you as well. So I did really like this shade, and I was happy that OPI put this in the collection. Yay! A nice light blue gray holographic. Next, we have the red jelly. So OPI often will include a classic red for their for us in their collections. Now, those of us who've been collecting polish a long time maybe don't need a beautiful fire engine red jelly. But if you're just new to nail polish, this one is beautiful. I love a jelly red. It just gives for a really bouncy, really, really chic look on the nail. Sorry, I got it on my side of my finger there just a little bit but this one is just beautiful art walk in Susie's shoes i do have some comparisons for you if you're interested espresso your inner self this is the brown shade in the collection there really isn't a lot of neutral in here which is nice because the summer collection was like half of it was neutral shades so i really appreciate that but to make sure we have a well-rounded collection, we have this delicious brown. It's not as yellow-toned as Cliffside Karaoke, but I'm going to show you that direct comparison coming up here in just a few minutes. It is pretty close, though, so in case you were wondering, um, this is a really yummy milk chocolatey brown, slightly yellow-tinted, as you can see. That's two coats, just beautiful perfection um, in two coats. Next, we have Graffiti Sweetie. The two grays in this collection are absolutely divine. This is the lighter gray that has a definite 
like purple to mauvey lean. It's just beautiful. You definitely need the two coats. This one had a little bit of looser formula than some of the other polishes in the collection where I feel like they could have tightened it up just a little bit, um, but it is really lovely in two coats and just, I love gray so much. So I was such a fan of this one. I do have a few comparisons for you, but nothing that's an exact dupe. So if you love purpley grays like me, hooray, this one's so good. So this is Graffiti Sweetie. That's two coats on my nails. Next, Next up, we have Isn't It Grand Avenue, and this is a really, really deep navy blue. I do have some things that are going to look really similar to this from OPI when they're dried down, but as I was painting them, them on, you can tell that they're not, you know, exact dupes, but when a dark navy dries down, sometimes you can't really tell the subtle differences because it just ends up looking almost black. All in all, I would say this is like a slightly... Um, like indigo leaning navy a little bit less royal blue than some of the other navies i have but like i said once they've all dried down they do end up looking kind of similar but this one's really really beautiful next up we have metallic composition and this is this really really twinkling like a um, soft rosy pink metallic. It's so beautiful. So while I was going through my polishes for the dupes and comparisons for this video, I have some things certainly from OPI that are similar to this, but a lot that are more tan leaning, more caramel leaning than this. This is more pink leaning than those and even twinklier. The little metallic micro flaky that they used in there got even twinklier on this one. So look at that sparkle. It's really, really pretty. I feel like that could have gone in a holiday collection. Next we have my studios on spring. And this one is beautiful. I love OPI greens and I have a lot of them guys. And this one is like a perfect marriage between a pine and a rainforest green. As you can see, it does have some teal in there, but it also does have some yellowy green vibes. It's so, so beautiful. I don't have an exact dupe for you for this one, but I do have some similar things, but I'm happy to tell you it's not like an exact rip off of another shade like this that they've done. Beautiful in two coats it's so pretty so love my studios on spring next up we have opi heart dtla this is the other purpley gray out of the collection and this one is a lot deeper it's kind of blue leaning even a little bit more maybe indigo leaning and it's beautiful i love this one as well and again i don't have an exact dupe for you already in opi's line however zoya is releasing a shade this fall that's like almost this exact color you guys it's so interesting to me how these things work out but oh my gosh on my nails this is just my color i love it so much P ink on canvas, pink on canvas. This is pretty similar to a lot of slightly neutrally, not overly bright pinks that OPI has made in the past. I do have some comparisons for you on this one. This is probably the least interesting to me polish out of the collection just because for that reason I do have a lot from OPI like this and pink is not my personal fave. But you can't deny that the formula is perfection and it looks super great at two coats. So there you have pink on canvas and two coats on my nails. I mean, it does look beautiful. Last polish in the collection is Violet Visionary. I mean, I can't hate on a beautiful purple. Do I have lots of things in my collection that look very similar to this? Yes, but it does have a beautiful two coat cream formulation. It is like a slightly vibrant kind of violet and it's really, really beautiful. So I'm just showing you how this swatches in two coats. It rounds out the collection really nicely. Hey, a fall collection with three purple polishes in it. You know I love that. Okay, we're gonna get started. I'm gonna go in alphabetical order just like I swatched through the collection. And if I'm at any time going too fast for you, just pause and you can reference the little notes made below each swatch. So Seventh and Flower does have a pretty close um, polish in Hurry Juku for this color, and um, that's Miami Beat over there, which as you can see is more red. No exact dupes here though, because Hurry Juku is more purpley. Excuse me, that's Hurry Juku Get This Color 
Um, so overall, actually, I was pretty happy with the uh, um, low amount of like dead on dupes in this collection. So I was really, really pleased with that. So these are pretty similar, but no exact dupes. Okay, next we're moving into actually probably the most dupable polish in the collection, and that's Abstract After Dark. And I have it shown next to Cosmo with a twist here. I had so many requests to show these side by side. So when you're building these up to opacity, which as you can see, Cosmo is more sheer. So they're not exact dupes in the fact that Cosmo is more sheer. You'd need three coats to get it looking the same. Cosmo is a little bit more blackened and Abstract has a tiny bit more purple in the base, but they are so similar. They do basically have uh, just about the same shift in those micro, uh, the micro flaky kind of shimmers. Okay, that last one took a little bit more explanation. The rest of these we're gonna move through really quickly. So we have Art Walk in Suzy Shoes there along with three other very red orange jellies. Art Walk in Suzy Shoes is probably the superior formulated polish out of all four of these. So we have Fashion A Bow, Art Walk, To The Mouse House we go, and My Wish List Is You. Okay, so there the most requested comparison for this one was Cliffside Karaoke right next to it. As you can see, it's a little darker and a little more yellow toned but they are pretty close. I also put it next to Squeaker of the House, which was my other most similar, but that one is much less yellow toned. Okay, next up we have the light purple gray, which is Graffiti Sweetie. And I have it shown here next to a few similar things. We have Polly Want a Lacquer, Glisten Carefully, and Audio Bad Nails, Chow Great Nails. So some really similar things, of course, no dupes as you can see, but I am super happy to show you this here so that you can snag some other awesome grayish purples if you are interested. All right, on to the navy in the middle there. We have Isn't It Grand Avenue, just a gorgeous, gorgeous navy. I have it next to two things here, which are obviously not dupes, but also total recommendations from me. Um, Miss Universe it has a fantastic formula, but it's more indigo leaning in the base. And then we have March in Uniform. I thought you might want to see those compared, but as you can see, it's not as blackened. It's not as deep. Um, you got a little bit more royal blue showing through. So there are those comparisons. If you're wondering about the myriad of other navies that OPI has, they were either way too deep or much lighter. So I didn't include them. Okay, next up the beautiful pink metallic. We have metallic composition there, which as I mentioned before, I think is fantastic. It is pretty similar to these other three here. Hitting the Portuguese pavement is the most similar once you have them built up in two coats, but it's like they took that polish and then amplified it by quite a bit. So I definitely recommend if you thought that hitting the Portuguese pavement was like a little bit of a yawn for a pink metallic, then snag the one in this collection. And then as you can see, Worth a Pretty Penne is much more copper leaning in comparison. And then we have um, Cosu Melted in the Sun, which as you can see is much more pink, a totally different kind of uh, pink there, less of a rose pink and more going towards like a bubblegum pink almost. Okay, on to the green. I love how when you see them all side by side here, it's just so easy to pick out the subtle differences. As you can see, obviously, is there a spear in your pocket? <laughs> Still the name of that polish, you guys. Um, is way different, but I thought you might wanna see it side by side. So the most similar things I have here uh, next to my studio, my studios on spring, Stay Off the Lawn is pretty close, but it's a little deeper, a little less white in it, as you can see. And then I had a lot of people ask me how this compared to Jade is the New Black, so you can see for yourself, it just has a little bit more teal in it than Jade is the New Black, and it's a teeny tiny bit darker. But these are all really close, also all fantastic polishes, definitely recommend. Okay, no dupes here again, but some more lovely shades if you're in the market for some more grayed purples. So we have OPI Heart DTLA in the middle, and it has it is actually pretty similar in shade to Love or Luster, but I did want to show it because even though the one has shimmer, they are kind of close in appearance once you've got them built up. And then of course we have Less is Norse over there, which is just like the darker sister of OPI Heart DTLA. So um, I have a shocking lack of shades in this range from OPI. OPI, I do more colors like this. I would love it. So anyway, there's those for you. Okay, lots of pinks to show you here. Surprise, surprise, right? No, I'm just kidding. So in the middle there, we have 
Pink on Canvas, as you can see, is our kind of medium shade range. Going a little darker, we have Susie Calls the Paparazzi, and that's like slightly more um, pinky peach. And then also on the other side, it's kind of going in the same range. We have You Crossed the Nazca Line, exclamation point, which actually those two are really, really similar. And then um, Glass, You've Got That Glass Glow is kind of my wild card I threw in here because it's in a similar tone, but it's more mauve purpley. If you were looking for something going in that direction, I really love that color. And then a little brighter and more pinky, we have another romantic evening. But these are all, even though they look different, they all literally, I'm looking at the bottles here on my table, they just all look like tanny rose creams. So. A lot of beautiful shades, no exact dupes. Uh, do I need all of these colors? Probably not. Okay, look at this happy quartet we get to finish off with. I love violets, I love purples of all hue. But this was a fun quad to pull together. So as you can see, obviously no dupes here. The one in the middle middle is called um, Eye Manicure for Beads and that's the most similar in the fact that it has um, more red in it. It's more violet, more a reddy violet than the other two that I have on the other ends. I included a light violet for you in Nails of Paradise. That's definitely um, a light non-blue toned purple for you. And then another violet shade we have bouquet of violets there on the other side of the one in this collection called Violet Visionary. I just love this quad so much. And in case it wasn't obvious, I did not have a dupe for the Blue Holographic in this collection, and that is why we didn't go over it. All right, and there you have it, the full review and live swatch for OPI's Downtown LA inspired collection. Overall, I found this collection to be kind of a sleepy looking fall collection on the nail, and my appreciation for this collection grew quite a bit after putting them on my nails, seeing how they look together, and just enjoying the beautiful formulas. So I definitely can highly recommend some of the shades in this collection, and like I said, if you look down in the description bar below, you can see where I purchased it. I hope you had a great time with me hanging out for this live swatch. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications, and I'll see you back for the next review very soon. Bye!